R. Kelly Early Life Robert Sylvester Kelly was born on January 8, 1967 at Chicago Lying in Hospital in Hyde Park, Chicago. Kelly is the third of four children. Kelly's single mother, Joanne, was a singer. She raised her children Baptist. Kelly's father was absent throughout his son's life. Kelly's family lived in the Ida B. Wells Homes Public Housing Project in Chicago's Bronzeville neighborhood. Kelly's high school music teacher Lena McClin described Kelly's childhood home, it was bare. One table, two chairs. There was no father there, I knew that, and they had very little. Kelly began singing in the church choir at age eight. Kelly grew up in a house full of women, whom he said would act differently when his mother and grandparents were not home. At a young age Kelly was often sexually abused by a woman who was at least 10 years older than himself. I was too afraid and too ashamed, Kelly wrote in his autobiography about why he never told anyone. At age 11, he was shot in the shoulder while riding his bike home, the bullet is reportedly still lodged in his shoulder. Kelly was 8 years old when he had his first girlfriend. They would hold hands and eat make-believe meals inside their playhouse built from cardboard, where they vowed to be boyfriend and girlfriend forever. Their last play date turned tragic when, after fighting with some older children over a play area by a creek, Lulu was pushed into the water. A fast-moving current swept her away while she screamed Kelly's name. Shortly after, she was found dead downstream. Kelly calls Lulu his very first musical inspiration. Kelly entered Kenwood Academy in Chicago's Hyde Park neighborhood in the fall of 1981, where he met his music teacher Lena McClin who encouraged Kelly to perform the Stevie Wonder classic Ribbon in the Sky in a high school talent show. McClin encouraged a young Kelly to leave the basketball team. She said he was furious at first, but after his performance at the school talent show, he changed his mind. Kelly played high school basketball with the late basketball player Ben Wilson. He sang it so hard to say goodbye to yesterday at Ben Wilson's funeral. As a teenager, Kelly began street performing under the Chicago L tracks before he eventually formed a group with his friends Mark McWilliams, Vincent Walker, and Sean Brooks. In 1989, Kelly, McWilliams, Walker, and Brooks formed the group MGM, Musically Gifted Men. In 1990, MGM recorded and released their first single Why You Wanna Play Me. After releasing the single, the group disbanded. In 1991, Kelly signed with Jive Records and teamed with a new group from Chicago called Public Announcement. Kelly's mother Joanne died in 1993.